John Wiley Price. Look, it's not lost on me that you don't do a whole lot of interviews. So thank you for taking some time, uh, graciously taking some time to interview with us. All right, so we've been talking about a transgenerational look at black hair and professionalism. So if you had to talk about black hair in, in your time in public office, has it ever been a concern for you or has it ever, ever come up in conversation? Oh, it's come up in conversations. It was interesting. A lot of comments, a uh, lot of speaking engagements. When people say, well, are you really a county commissioner uh, with your hair like that? Yeah, kind of. And so it just kind of comes with the package now. I am Commissioner John Wiley Price. And guess what? This is my hair story. You've been in your position for 36 years at this point. Walk me through kind of the evolution of how you wore your hair. I've had the afro. You know, I've had the beards. You know, the mustache. I, I've gone through all of that. But I'm comfortable in where I am. You've been rocking your hair like this for a really long time. In fact, I saw a picture over there from 2001 saying John Wally Price rocking a new do. How did it go over with people when you initially started rocking your twists? It was like, what's happened? Is there something in your life that is, why, why are you doing this? But that's two decades. It was just the, an evolution of where I wanted to go. I want to backtrack a little bit, and I want you to tell me some of the comments that have been made over the years about your hair. Other than, you know, well, why you want to do that? I mean, really? I don't think it, quote, becomes you. I've got to be comfortable. I can't be concerned about, you know, what they're saying. And I've had individuals say, you know, I can't believe you. You're a county commissioner with that hair? Black hair is the epitome of who you are. I can pretty much look at your hair and tell something about it. And that's what I want them to do. I'm gonna keep saying, my skin, I'm comfortable in my hair. You know, that's it. If you had to explain black hair discrimination to someone who is not black, how would you help them understand some of the things that people are facing in the workplace? Mm, that would be uh, probably a, a, a real challenge, but I used to tell young people, my hair is twisted and not my brain. But in terms of, texture and how you doing with your hair, but as long as you're able to perform, as long as you represent me mentally in a way that I can be proud, that's pretty much the end of it.